Okay, so we want to try 11.6, number 7, which says presumably solve this thing, which is 2 thirds to the x squared is 1680 thirds. Okay, how do I start? This is scary, yeah? So what's the exponent kind of tell me? Vaguely? Can you do something with logarithms? OK, Maybe we could try something with logarithms. That might be a bit overkill here. I think we can probably do. You can easier. square root each side by x squared. Or not square root. The x squared root of both sides. OK, that would be super bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> Right? Because I don't know what x squared is, so undoing, raising that to a power would be So very make 16 strange. over 81 and some power of 2 thirds. That's a much better idea. You guys see that? If I could think about this right hand thing as 2 thirds to something, then that something and x squared should be the same thing, right? So what power of 2 is 16. Let's see, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 more is 8, times 2 more is 16. 16 is 4 times 4, right? Yeah. Those are each 2 times 2. So there's all told 4 2's multiplied together for 16, right? OK, so. I know at least the top is 2 to the 4th. And the bottom is 3 to the 4th as well, because uh, 9 times 9. Very nice. So because 9 times 9 is 81, 9 is 3 times 3. There are, in so fact, also 4 threes. So I can think about this as 2 thirds to the fourth. All of the 4th. And so x squared is equal to 4. Ah, yeah, so now I might think this thing and this thing have to be the same. Or right, if I'm multiplying some 2 thirds together, that's the same thing as multiplying 4, thir four of 2 thirds together. Those have to be the same thing. In terms of a log, right, the step from here to here is what? Multiplying it by log. 3 over 2 to uh, get rid of the... Almost taking log 2 thirds of both sides. You guys see that? So I'm not, I'm not multiplying by something. I'm applying a function. Yeah. Right? I'm undoing. So I'm undoing the idea of raising to the exponent 2 thirds. So that would be a log base 2 thirds. I'm asking what's the power of 2 thirds that I need to get 2 thirds to the x squared. Yeah, x squared is that power. So from here, how do I solve? I've got x squared is 4. Square root of both sides is technically plus or minus. OK, good. I throw a plus or minus square root on both sides. So I get x is plus or minus 2. Plus or minus two. Oh, that help? Yeah. Where was your confusion? Uh, I guess I was just looking at it when I first started and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, these are a little panicky at first, right? Because they kind of don't know how to do maybe the fractions even. Right. But really with all of these, your goal is going to be, okay, I want to get, I've got stuff to some power with x's in it. I should try to write the other side as that same stuff to a power and then I can equate the powers. 